I remember when I was a boy, my parents used to put pillowcases on the end of my brother and my bed and we just used to get so excited of when the pillowcases were going to be uh, filled up with things and in the morning just waiting to get up and, and do those. And I even remember they were striped pillowcases. So oh, I was very special and one year I, I got one of the uh, uh, racing car things that did the loop the loop that you had to assemble it and we used to see how far we get the cars to go on uh, and I like trains so I got the flying Scotsman uh, uh, sort of Hornby kits. When I was six my brother and I we never went to church on a Sunday but this year we were going to church to please my grandfather. My parents weren't ready so we had to occupy ourselves so we it was a cold day my brother slipped on an icy puddle, broke his leg. Oh dear. Whose fault was it? Whose fault was it? I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Anyway, so I do remember spending uh, much of that day at the children's hospital. As I grew older, it sort of became different. Uh, I became a Christian when I was 18. Christmas had a different meaning after that. It was, it was, as much about Jesus as, as it was about presents. When I was in my 20s and 30s, I was in Africa, and I always remember one Christmas where I had, had a two-year-old and a very pregnant wife. It was about 100 degrees, and we had the biggest turkey that you've ever seen for two of us, well, two and a half of us, and I thought, and everything was in red, and I thought, this is crazy, we were absolutely roasted, literally, as was the turkey, of course. My marriage split up and I ended up in a, a flat on my own and I didn't have a TV or anything, just a bit of a radio. And I remember just being on my own on Christmas Day and it was, it was very different. Uh, in a sense, I, re I really enjoyed just spending time with God. And actually, I spent a lot of time singing. So I hope God enjoyed it. I'm not sure if the neighbours did, but I did. But it does make you appreciate how, f for many people, Christmas is, is a lonely time of year. This year, I've been thinking about the journeys that people have gone on. The wise men went on a journey. Mary and Joseph had to go on a journey. So many people had to go on a journey and they just had to rely on what God had told them. They, they didn't know the ending as we know the ending. Joseph was told uh, to leave Bethlehem and go to Egypt in a dream. Uh, I just think, how would I have coped with all of these? Just follow the star, go to uh, Bethlehem, all of those things. So we're all on a journey and it's it's good to remember the journey that we have and to remember all the special things about christmas whether it's family the presents the memories or especially the child that was born that came on an epic journey from the far side of heaven because he loved you and me